Welcome to How To, a quality digest series for quality control and quality assurance specialists who need quick instruction on how to get something done. In this episode, we discuss the importance of trustworthy data collection methods, how direct data entry of gauge readings compared to manual data entry can avoid errors. Here to talk about uh, direct data entry is Derek Benson of PQ Systems. Okay, so Derek, it seems like uh, nowadays uh, companies are, are having to do more and more with their quality management system, their QMS. Uh, they're collecting more and more data. Uh, they're using that data in different ways. There's different means of collecting that data and methods that they're, they're using and so forth. So what are some of the techniques to help ensure the accuracy and timeliness of these processes? What a great question. And that's a challenge that we're hearing quite often with, with our customers. Uh, I want to focus first on, on the first bit that you mentioned, which was accuracy. So it goes without saying that a lot of important decisions are being derived from that data that your team's collecting. You know, you could make a change that affects the entire production process. So if you are making this decision based on inaccurate data, uh, certainly bad things could be happening. In the perfect world, we would skip the keyboard altogether when it comes to data collection. Um, try to in incorporate a system where you are sending data directly from devices into your SPC system. A couple examples would be, you know, calipers or micrometers, digital scales, uh, all the way up to more complex systems like CMMs or laser measurement systems. Now, we certainly understand that there are instances where a direct communication between devices isn't possible and you just can't avoid keyboard entry altogether. Uh, so what we would recommend there is that you have a system in place for data validation, uh, that your SPC system is, is checking uh, has your back when it comes to typos and things like that. Okay, so so kind of what you're saying is, that is the ideal method is is no manual entry at all. You're collecting the data directly off uh, off the gauge. Maybe you know you, you you press a button on the gauge, it goes directly into the software. Sometimes you're going to have to do manual data entry. Sometimes that's just unavoidable. What happens if your team simply forgets to collect any data at all? Yeah, it's interesting to see how. You know, quality departments seem to be shrinking in size while their, you know, their requirements and their duties are, are increasing because of it. Um, so, so what you need is a system in place that uh, may remind you or nudge you when it's time to collect data. Uh, we refer to that as sample prompting. So if it's a requirement uh, via a customer or your industry or even an internal requirement that you collect data on specific processes every two hours, uh, what we would recommend is, is having a system that, that alerts you when it's been two hours since the last time you collected data. Um, if you have a light pole that you can integrate with your system, it takes that even one step further. So you may not even be near your, your computer where you collect data. The light pole starts flashing and reminds you that it's time to get back and do some work. Oh, that's interesting. So, so, the, so, so there's some sort of visual representation that, oh, you know, there's this yellow light or green light or something, red light, something flashing telling you, hey, it's time to, it's time to go pick up some data from this point because we, we kind of get busy and we forget is what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you know, those folks that are, that are collecting the data for you are also running the machines. They don't, they don't have time to sit in front of the c computer all day waiting to collect data. You know, and finally, to go even one step further in your, in your data collection system, um, if timeliness is particularly critical to you, um, set it up where you can get an email notification or, or someone there at the shop gets an email notification when uh, sample collection has been skipped just to make sure you guys are, re are really taking care of those requirements. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks, Derek. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Derek.